Hey, 360 electricians, good morning. In this video, you're gonna follow me and see what the typical day for a 360 electrician is like. We're gonna go visit a couple of job sites. We're gonna talk about the jobs themselves, how we got them, what we think about them, and things that you can expect once you go to business for yourself. Come along, hit the like and subscribe button. And let's get into the video. Before we begin though, gotta get the coffee. One of my favorite is ground up construction. So it's new construction. We call it ground ups and uh, we don't do any of the TI work. We only do the out exterior and the underground and the main switch gear. This happens to be a ground up of a Popeye's chicken we're doing out here in good old Southern California. And we're almost done. We're about 90% done on our work. And when you do ground ups usually for these uh, fast food restaurants, you are not doing any of the TI on the inside. You are only doing the outside. So uh, you can see the parking lot posts for the parking lot lights, the Edison feed that comes out from over here, comes underground and goes all the way out to that pole. In fact, we are already out to the alley and then uh, we're gonna start the alley next week. Usually you do your main electrical switch gear, which you'll see right here. Uh, we almost exclusively use Square D. Uh, we like Square D. We've got a really good deal with Square D. And as you can see with TI work, you're gonna be doing some of the parking lot lights, the posts. You're also gonna be doing the uh, lighting fixtures on the outside of the building. So ground up is super fun, super easy to bid, very profitable, and just a good way to have work for several months. Let's go inside and I'll show you the interior. We do very minimal work. The TI uh, electrician for Popeyes comes in and does the finish work on the inside. That's counters, lights, and all that stuff. We could bid on it, but this is a lot easier. It's a lot faster and to me a lot more profitable. So as you can see, it's pretty much a shell on the inside. And uh, we have run our exterior light conduits, our air conditioning conduits. Uh, we do do our stub outs where we need to. Uh, but we leave the inside to the TI electricians and we usually only worry about the outside. They're starting to do the plumbing now, it looks like. You know, if you've never done new construction or ground ups and you're just a residential electrician, it could be pretty scary trying to get into work like this. But I'm telling you, practice makes perfect. You got to get into it. You got to find some guys on your team that are experienced that have done this kind of stuff. All my guys have, so it's pretty much just working together, getting the materials, and most importantly, following the plans. All right, so that was a ground up, and actually, uh, I keep calling it a ground up new construction, which it is, but it's also known as a shell building. So in other words, again, you're just building the shell of the building. You are not doing any of the electrical work on the inside. That's usually the TI contractor, tenant improvement. So I got this contract from the owner of the ground, he went and built a Popeyes. He spends that money out of pocket. He contracts out to his contractors. He basically builds the Popeyes building to spec. And then of course, a company like Popeyes will rent that uh, property for a 10 year lease, et cetera, et cetera. So ground up shells, awesome, awesome way to go. If you can get those in your area, again, pretty clean, pretty easy. Just follow the blueprints, bid your project correctly. Always leave some extra for the unknowns. What you wanna do is also, you wanna get in touch with the utility before you even bid the job. Ask them what their specific requirements are. Make sure you find out that you don't have to dig somewhere where you're not licensed to dig. For example, here, when we dig on city or county streets, we're not allowed to do that because we're not licensed for that. So you gotta make sure that in your contract, you're putting, hey, you do all the digging. You can throw the pipe in, but then they're gonna have to cover it up. Bidding on these is fairly simple. You're gonna get your complete parts list, your complete fixture package, you're gonna send that over to your favorite wholesale house. They're gonna give you a material list and a fixture count uh, list with a price on it. You're gonna take that price and you're gonna estimate how long you think your crew is gonna to take to do this job. Now, what I like to do is say, I know this project's gonna take 90 days, but I know that we're not gonna be here every single day for 90 days. So I will take the whole 90 days and then I'll reduce it by 40% and that's my labor costs. Because again, sometimes we're here two or three hours, sometimes you're here two or three days straight, but we're never here 24 seven because those other trades are gonna come in and work. You can't be working while the plumber's digging up the ground because you can't get your ladders up or they're gonna be excavating the outside or, or, or grading. You can't throw your pipes in. So keep that in consideration. But I highly recommend you go for these jobs. 
Now, I have a little secret on how I pick up these jobs, and we do quite a bit of them. In fact, our next job we're going to right now is in Long Beach. It's a combination of a TI and a shell building. It's a pretty big project. Let's go over there and check it out. All right, and here is our Starbucks shell, ground up shell. It's gonna be a Starbucks tenant unit. And then over here is gonna be the Jack in the Box. And we haven't started that yet. So this is a pretty big project. We've got a couple of dozen uh, parking lot lights going in here. And then our TI is the existing building. It's a tire store. Let's go over there and I'll show you that. So you can see the TI, we're putting in all new LED lighting and over the racking as well. So all those lights, all these lights are new. New lighting. Got two new bathrooms going in there. Got a new sub panel over here. So the office is moving pretty slow, but uh, it's been framed up. The rough has been passed and uh, we've got some more work to do. So this is just an interior TI. This is a bathroom, bathroom fan. You know, you get your switching in the walls and uh, HVAC line up there. Just the typical TI moving really slow. This is still early on, even though we passed rough on the bathroom. This bathroom is gonna get demoed, it's the old one, and all of this will be full office space. So I really hope you like this video. These are just uh, some jobs that we do here at 360 Electrician and some that you can expect to do once you go into business for yourself.